the Women in Games Global Awards 2021. We are well underway with our awards. My name is Rachel Stringer and I'm joined by our brilliant panellists. Here we have Lauren Kay and congratulations actually are in order to Jay Shin who has actually recently been inducted into the Yuki board Jay congratulations that's massive yeah no, thank you so much it's just such an honor and it's so wonderful to be involved as an ambassador as well as as you know women in games are Yuki members as well so it just it feels really good to bring them both together I thought yeah. we were talking about awards and celebration then we had to kind of give a nod <laughs> to you at this moment in time as well which is amazing um, so congratulations once again to Jay but let's move on then with our next category it's women in esports and the gaming category I'm very excited about this one actually so let's move on to our first award uh, it's most influential esports host. This is a pretty tricky one because we know it's quite difficult to actually keep everyone under control in some of these major broadcasts that come your way. So let's check out the nominees for this. Britannia Johnson, Frankie Ward, Indiana Black, Jorin van der Heijden, Laurie Valley, and Miss. Harvey. Well, I've given the honour of uh, announcing the winner for this category. So it actually, this is brilliant, actually. The, the future's looking bright, and it very much is for our winner of this award. So the winner for the most influential eSports host goes to Frankie Ward. Thank you ever so much for this award. It means a lot given that there are incredible nominations across the board in every category tonight. And I just wanna say thank you to those people because I think the more women we have like you in the space, the more people that are gonna to wanna to be part of this. And I think that's the whole point, isn't it? To represent, to encourage more people, more women to, to get involved in and be the thing that they couldn't see in the past. And now they can because of you. So thank you for this award. Anyone could win it at the end of the day, let's face it. Everyone is worthy. And yeah, I look forward to seeing what we achieve in the years to come. Thank you. Congratulations to Frankie there. Yeah, she said she looks forward to seeing what women can achieve in years to come. Congratulations. Let's move on then. Award number 11. We are li really rattling through these. Next up, we have most influential esports campaigner or entrepreneur. So, I'm going to talk to you two about being entrepreneurs in this space. Don't look at me like that, guys. You're very much both entrepreneurs in this space. Let's talk about, I guess, the company you've co-founded first, Arrogant Pixel. Yes. Um, I think it's really important that women don't get deterred from basically starting up their own thing. How and why did you start up your own thing, as you say, in the first place. Like, what inspired you or who inspired you? Um, I think it was my father, actually. He was, um, he's always been a bit of a serial entrepreneur and mm. he really did inspire me to be like, you don't have to fit into this mold of just like full-time job, um, doing what everyone else is doing, doing something a little bit different, having your own idea and actually actualizing it. And I found him always really, really inspirational. He's always made his own money and, um, I also find it very empowering making my own, you know, mm. under my own terms. As yeah. Well. So, yeah. It is. It's empowering if you actually make that idea come to life. Lauren, you'll know this with your podcast. <laughs> Was there a moment there before you actually launched it and put it out there to the world to, to critique and to listen to because we all critique everything out there? Did you think, oh, I can't, I can't possibly do that? And what gave you the motivation to, to get on with it? Yeah, I mean, the first episode, I'll tell you a funny story, it almost got pulled, oh, and no. I like released it, and then it was just kind of like, you might have to pull this, and I was just kind of like, oh, no, <laughs> and it's like, episode one, gone, no, um, but uh, it all went well, and, and it, it did still stay live, thank you so much to Sam, um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was quite an ordeal, and, and in the initial bit, trying to convince women um, to come onto the show who didn't maybe know who I was. <laughs> who is this person who's asking me to talk? Um, <laughs> it was a bit like trying to just pitch it, and, um, but we, we got over the hump, and now it's just, it's amazing how many women are, are willing to just sort of talk about their journeys, and um, I'm always willing to listen. 
it's being a little bit brave as well, isn't it? It's just having that kind of internal dialogue with yourself saying, actually, I can do this and it will work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on. Like I mentioned with this next award, most influential esports campaigner or entrepreneur. Let's check out the shortlist. Tavana Cena, Heather Garozo, Christian Bansi, Rochelle Hopsetter, Sabine Saidi Nori, and Stephanie Harvey. Well, we have a presenter, actually, who is going to announce the winners for us for this award. Founder of Queer Women of Esports, it's Lindy, Lindsay McGlory. What's up, everybody? My name is Dr. Lindsay Miglior, also known as Gamer Doc, and I am the Executive Director of Queer Women of Esports. I am so honored to be presenting the award for Most Influential Esports Campaigner or Entrepreneur. And the winner is Diana Senna. Thank you so much to everyone who voted for me. Being nominated is an honor in itself, and to be here now to celebrate with all these amazing, incredibly talented women is such a surreal moment. I'm so amazed at all the work that a lot of women out there are doing to make games a safer and more welcoming space. It's always been a passion of mine to see more women in games, and so this moment is truly incredible. Thank you so much once again. Well, congratulations there to all our winners so far this evening. Um, they're such worthy winners and we still have loads more to bring you as well. Let's move on now then with award number 12 out of 20 of this evening. And our next award is for the most influential esports shoutcaster or analyst. Let's check out the nominees. Emily Don Donaldson. Froskurin. Jess Goat. Lauren Pansy Scott, Lemon Kiwi, and Michelle Moxie Song. Well, I'm going to give someone else a chance now, and Jason is going to uh, actually announce the winner for us. Jay, please do the honors. Amazing. Right, let's find out. And the winner is Emily Donaldson. Congratulations. for voting and participating for me to win this award. It was an honour to even be nominated amongst so many talented women from our scene who are doing so much to show that this is a welcoming, inclusive and lovely space. And esports as a whole for everybody for being involved and helping push towards a more welcoming atmosphere. Thank you for putting on the awards show. And again, it's such an honour to even be nominated to take it. Well, it's made being locked in this hotel quarantine that much sweeter. Thank you again and enjoy the rest of the show. Well, I hope Emily's out of that hotel quarantine that she finds herself in recording that video. But congratulations on that win, Emily. Let's move on then to award 13. Most influential gaming community group or network. Let's have a look at the shortlist. Nominees are Brown Girl Gamer Code, Code Coven, Dol Dota Valkyries, Full Sail University Esports, Melanin Gamers and the Game Hers. Well, Lauren, I believe you are going to announce the winners. There was a tie, I believe. Mm. Let's see who won. So we have, for the most influential gaming community group or network, Brown Girl Gamer Code and Code Coven. We literally couldn't split them. They've both done such incredible things. So congratulations to our two winners then. Hi everyone, my name is Brandy and I'm the founder of Brown Girl Gamer Co. And I'm absolutely thrilled to accept the award on behalf of BGGC for most inclusive esports initiative project or structure for our Apex Academy event. We are so happy and so honored to have put on an event that helps so many people and to be recognized for our hard work. Thank y'all so, so much. And we look forward to seeing y'all at the next Apex Academy. Can't wait to see you as well at the next Apex Academy. 
Award number 14 now though, we are rattling through these. Most influential esports writer or journalist. They have a pretty tough job, don't they? Let's have a look at the shortlist. Ashley Kang. Christy Ramadani. Kendricks Gillian Linscott. Laurie Valley. Malek Balgan. Manika Miller. We have actually an external presenter from Google to present this award for you. It's Francesca Alessia. Hello, my name is Francesca. I'm working in the gaming team at Google here in EMEA. And today I have the honor to present you the award in the category Most Influential Esport Writer or Journalist. And um, without further ado, let's see who won. So the award goes to Melek Balgun. Many congratulations, Melek. Uh, very well deserved. I hope you're happy and you can celebrate all the best. Unfortunately, we don't have a interview from Malek, but actually I had a little check out of her uh, Instagram page and she's a woman after my own heart. She hosts the E-Bundesliga and she's also a big fan of horses. So, um, yep, I would like to meet you one day and we can chat football and horse riding. So there we go. Congratulations there to Malek. Okay, let's move on then. Award 14 now. 15, excuse me, there's so many, I'm getting a slightly confused. Most influential gaming community manager is coming your way right now. Who's up for this then? Abby Reynolds, Anisha Munim, Annette Escalente, Carolina Morace, Kelly Dunlap, and Lauren Moses. Well, there we go. Let's reveal then the winner. Jay Shin, I believe that you are going to announce the winner of this one. Yes, I've got it in my hand right here. Let's have a look. And the winner is Laura Moses. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Lauren Moses, community manager for Code Coven. Thank you so much for choosing me as this year's most influential gaming community manager. A community manager is only as good as their community, and I'm honored to exist in this industry alongside so many people that care about moving the needle for marginalized developers. Our scholarship applications for our next entry level course close tomorrow. So go check out our Twitter for the link, and I hope to see you in our next cohorts. Well, congratulations then to Lauren Moses. Let's move on award 16. This one. I can imagine was very hotly contested. Most influential esports Twitch streamer. Everyone loves a bit of streaming, don't they, on Twitch? Lauren? Mm. Joe? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, into it. Oh, yeah. I Me love too. It. Okay. Yeah. So let's shout out to my Brendan Fraser people. She's shouting out to so many of her little <laughs> friends there on Twitch. I don't know. It's, it's face, isn't it? To find, I guess, new people in the community and just connect with people that you've been watching for years. Um, so it, it's a great space, of course. If you don't know about it, I don't know where you've been for the last X amount of years. Go and check it out. Go and check out your favourites. Let's look at our favourites right now. Ariel Powers is making the shortlist. As is Mzia. Fran, she joins that list as well. I'm Famous X1X. Lulu Lovely. And finally, Star Smitten. Well, six awesome Twitch streamers there. Lauren, you are a fan of Twitch. Who is the winner of this one? So the most influential esports Twitch streamer is Star Smitten. Star Smitten, congratulations. We unfortunately didn't get a video for Star Smitten, but she is all over Twitch. She streams so many great games, Valorant, Fortnite, League of Legends. She's a star, literally smitten on all of them. Okay, well, we have one more award to bring you before we have a short break. So the next one, most valuable esports player. Hmm, let's check out the nominations for this one. Amelita, Charlie Martin. Next up, we have Cosmic. Then shortlist, Emily Rose Worrell. Emily Garrido, Emelite. And Stephanie Phillips. 
And we have Jax Garrett then, CEO and founder of GGWP Academy to present this award all the way, let me add, from the other side of the world in Australia. Hi everyone, I'm Jax Garrett, CEO and founder of GGWP Academy. We're an app that delivers education and opportunity to gamers globally. We teach everything from personal branding to building communities online, and then we connect gamers or streamers with brands for marketing campaigns. Tonight I've been asked to present you with the winner of the most valuable esports player. And I am excited to announce Emily, Emily Garrido, as your 2021 winner. Congratulations. Hi everyone, thank you so much to everybody who voted for me as the most valuable esports player. I am incredibly thrilled and humbled by all of you. Gaming has been my passion for so many years and I promise to continue to work hard and push myself and my goals even further. Special thanks to Dignitas, my teammates, Rain, Pia, Shaliana, Steph and XV3 for always having my back. And of course, special thanks to all of you and all of my fans who voted for me and continue to support me throughout the years. I love you all. Well, I was doing a bit of research on Emily. She's such a fabulous member of the community. I mean, her journey started, didn't it, when she was a founder of one of the top female Counter-Strike teams, Team Karma. She mentioned now she's a member of Team Dignitas, but I love, guys, that she's a part-time nurse as well, so has to still fund her esports career with a different avenue, being a part-time nurse, which shows we still have a little way to go, but shows that us females can can do it all Lauren <laughs> oh my god yeah no I've I've known people who've done like games journalism and been midwives and you know yeah there's so many of us who start out having day jobs plus plus gaming and it's just insane what job did you possibly have to do Lauren if you did if you weren't lucky enough to go straight into esports as a full time job I know you're a mum as well yeah I am yeah no that's that's a major job <laughs> yeah that's a, job that's, <laughs> that's, that's a lot um but yeah no I um before this all started I was actually a graphic designer for a little company we used to make window film so every time you saw it in like Starbucks or something that was us. I feel so you're creative industry, so working that yeah. as graphic designer. Jay, did you actually have to juggle a job that you maybe didn't want to do before you got a full-time job in esports or many full-time jobs in esports? Oh my gosh, no, like there's no shame in like, um, I did, I was a barista, like, you know, Me I did, <laughs> yeah. yeah, worked in, um, worked in retail for a long time, yeah. but it's, it's just about gaining that work experience and just becoming independent. That's the thing that's important so that you can chase your dreams, so that you can do all these things. And spinning multiple plates well that's just what we're really good at aren't we? so and I guess having the jobs that you don't particularly want to end up at it just really kind of makes you a better person and actually gives you even more determination mm. to get there in whatever career it is mm. in the end so mm -hmm. barista I don't know waitress whatever you guys are doing graphic designer don't worry you can get there in the end if you, you just continue to work really hard Okay, well, we have one more short break for you right now for the Women in Games Global Awards 2021. But come back and join us because we have the big one coming up next. We have the Hall of Fame Award coming your way. We have such great nominees in this. We also have the Snapchat Game Jam Award as well. So some more great awards coming your way right after this short break. Welcome back to the Women in Games Global Awards 2021. What a night we have had so far, celebrating so many females in video games and esports. We had 20 awards, four different categories. We still have four more awards to bring you. So I hope you're very excited for, I'm gonna say two of the big ones, the Hall of Fame Award and the Snapchat 
Game Jam Award as well. My name is Rachel String. I've been your host this evening, and we have these two wonderful panelists joining us as well. Women in Games Ambassadors to boot, Jay Shin and Lauren Kay have been here all evening. Guys, you having a good time? Yeah. yeah. What a way to it's, spend your yeah. Saturday night, right? Yeah, I know. yeah, absolutely. It's really great. I've already heard from my husband that uh, my eldest has already snuck into the room and said, that's really cool. <laughs> well, you are really cool. I mean, you're working in video games and obviously esports. But let's kind of continue with this evening. Ward 18 coming your way right now. Favorite all women or co ed esports league or tournament? This is a big one. Let's have a look at the shortlist. E Fuse. Women on the arena. Oh, female esports league FSL. Newell League of Legends Tournament. Queen's League. Version VCT Game Changers and Women's Esports League from Female Legends. Well, we have an external presenter for this one, Bryony Hanam, digital content creator of Overclockers. Actually, they were very kind in letting us have these chairs that you two are sitting on. How comfortable are they? Please tell me they are super comfy. I they sat them earlier. So they are so comfortable. Noble Aww. shirts. Yeah, yep. great cushions. You want one? Great, yeah. great support. We want three, guys. Please, Bryony, if you're <laughs> hearing us, we love three chairs. Anyway, are you joking? Um, Bryony, over to you now. Hello, wonderful women in games. My name is Bryony, a content creator at Overclockers UK. We love tech and gaming, and I am so pleased to be announcing the favourite all women or co ed esports league or tournament. Thank you to the nominees for creating a platform that showcases the awesome and talented women in esports. Your tournaments, leagues and communities improve inclusivity and inspire women to team up and play together. However, there can only be one winner. Verizon VCT Game Changers presented by Dignitas. On behalf of Dignitas and our partners at Riot Games, Verizon and Twitch, I'm honored to accept this award for favorite women's tournament. It's so important that we encourage more women to compete in esports. This is truly an incredible industry, but it can be very intimidating to know where to start, how to find teammates, and providing tournaments like the VCT Game Changers is a great way to encourage women to jump into this competitive ecosystem and hopefully one day they'll become the best in the world. Thank you so much for voting for us and I hope to see you in our future events. Well, congratulations to Dignitas and that is one hell of a tournament about to be staged behind her as well. That looked pretty fancy. Um, I can't wait for all these tournaments to be back in real life as well. I'm sure both of you are kind of a little bit done with sitting in front of your camera at home, streaming all around the world. It's great to be there in person, of course. Okay, Award 19 is coming your way. Most inclusive esports initiative, project or structure? Let's check out this shortlist. First up, Brown Girl Gamer Code. Melanin Games. Queer Women of Esports. Race Me, Athletes and Gamers for Diversity and Inclusion. Esports Spartana and We Sports. Six great nominations once again there for the most inclusive esports initiative. And to present this award, we have Emma Brown, co-founder of Dota Valkyries. Hi everyone, this is Emma from Dota Valkyries. I'm really pleased to be able to be here today to be able to present an award for the most inclusive esports initiative, project or structure. Inclusivity is at the forefront of everything that we do at Dota Valkyries and increasing it in the esports scene has been a lifelong passion of mine. So it's my pleasure to present the award today and the winner is We Sports Women in Esports by GGWP Foundation and BNR. Congratulations. On behalf of GWP Foundation and BNR Boutique de Negocios Responsables, I want to thank you for voting We Sports Women in Esports as the most inclusive esports project in Women in Games 2021. Thank you for trusting on us, and we will continue working to bring more women into the esports industry. 
Well, congratulations to Wii Sports there on their initiative. I think it's so important, isn't it, guys, to have any kind of initiative set up like that. Like I'm doing the She Sports Cup, the all-female FIFA tournament, to try and provide a, a safe space and a platform for females to play FIFA because they're so underrepresented in that area. But I mean, who did you look up to, uh, Lauren, when you first kind of joined in this space? And you know, if you had someone like Wii Sports there, would you have wanted to be a part of it, join in straight away? Oh, of course. Like, I think it's it's so amazing uh, what women in esports are doing. Um, and I mean, there's so many there's so many women to to look up to. Um, when I was younger, I didn't really have the exposure to have someone look up to. But like with she plays games and with the women in games ambassadors program, I've really sort of found found more and more women who I just have as my heroes really <laughs> and Jay I'm sure you've come across your fair share again of initiatives and projects that have been put in space over the last couple of years have you got anyone in particular that inspires you or who you've seen at the forefront of what they do of really pushing boundaries I mean there's I couldn't name just one individual to be honest but the the main thing is that we just need to create more spaces because you know the more that we create the more opportunities there are for women in games and uh, Esports especially, we need more players, we need more female representation, we need people that young girls can look up to and just be like, I can do that. I I'm not saying it's as easy as putting it on your own Twitch stream, but it kind of is. Mm. You know, we all have our own Twitch platforms, which is basically where we're able to broadcast whatever we like. So we can all start our own initiatives or projects. It's literally like we just mentioned before, being brave enough to do so, would you say? Mm -hmm. Completely. And um, like I know so many friends who are doing uh, charity streams. Ellie Joy Panic is, <laughs> oh, out. Ellie Rhodes is, uh, she's just an, an incredible person. And, um, but there's, there's so many people um, that are just doing just so much great stuff for both the industry and for charities as well. Yeah, absolutely. And they'll continue to do so, I'm sure, and continue to inspire many more females to take on their own projects and initiatives as well.